How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week nine. We've got our game here on the road at Arkansas State, who's two and three. Um, and f oh my goodness, you guys are incredible. Tonight, as of this recording, we have surpassed a thousand subscribers on the channel, which is <laughs> incredible. Um, I've I've tried YouTube stuff for a long time and have not had much success with it. So the support that you guys are showing for this series in these videos is uh, it means the world to me um i i don't think i have the words to truly describe how uh thankful i am for that but i guess maybe a simple thank you will do let's get into this though into our recruiting for the week we have visits ready to schedule we've got uh what is that 700 points to give out maybe we'll move some stuff around starting with our schedules or, or scheduled visits we're in the lead with everybody except for Calvin Rutledge, who's only a 62 overall middle linebacker, so not the most important. Matt Hodges, only 60 overall at tackle. But again, on these visits, we're really just looking for a lot of complimentary visits. So that's what we'll do with the first three. Calvin Rutledge, because we are behind, FIU is the team in the lead. Well, we only have one option. Uh, we will get an extra guaranteed 150 points off the visit, but... He's also going to the Appalachian State game, so a lot going there. Um, nobody to scout. We have the full 35. All right, let's just go through our normal scouting here. And that's right, I forgot. Calvin Morris did commit to Temple, so the guard will come off the board. Um, and we'll go ahead and just uh, see where we're at here. A lot of commits for us. David West now... 2,900 points up. Go to our top schools. Neil Boone should be committed very shortly. Um, Probably a similar situation with David West. We're going to take all the points away from him. Maurice Dingle looks pretty similar, but Virginia does have a visit, so we'll keep that 100 towards him for now. And as far as everybody else goes, I am totally fine uh, with what I'm seeing here. We, we have the lead with a ridiculous amount of these recruits. I'm feeling good about that. Take 50 points away here from Chad Bradshaw, that wide receiver. And now we'll just go back to the bottom and see what's happening. Ooh, Jamie Brooks. I think this is the ridiculous fullback. Yeah, the 76 overall. Down 1,400. Um, I'm not so sure that we're going to be able to keep him. But we do have our unlock still. So we'll offer him a scholarship. Uh, this week, in fact, we'll offer scholarships to pretty much every uh, solid pour that we have on the board so far. And then uh, we'll just hope that we can keep him on board as long as possible. Clemson, all of a sudden going for Jimmy Massey, who is a, only a 63 overall tackle. So, so a little bit weird there, but maybe they used an unlock. He's 88% locked. We're 900 points behind. We do have a visit scheduled and a scholarship offered, but not so confident there. Kind of getting to the point where the guys that we're behind on are going to be difficult to pull in. Calvin Rutledge, not the best middle linebacker, but he's going to get 500 points just because we want to stay competitive there. And then pretty much everybody that we're behind on, there's not a whole lot more that we can do. So we'll give uh, 450 points to Tom West, I guess. And that's really going to be it. I said I was going to offer a bunch of scholarships, but we can offer four if we take Curtis Kent's points away. Let's go ahead and go to that no scholarships, and we're going to offer them to the best overall players that we have on the board. So we want them to know that we want them to come. So Brian Davis, the defensive, or the whatever he was. <laughs> I didn't realize they were going to disappear so quickly from the board. He's going to get one defensive tackle, Robert Harris from uh, Densville, South Carolina. We'll get one. So will Chad Bradshaw, that wide receiver from Kenai, Alaska that we're in the lead with. And we'll give the final one to, yeah, well, I mean, I always love some offensive line. So Dominique Williams, we are down to Colorado. Um, the tackle, 6'5", 278 pounds from St. Charles, Missouri. We'll go ahead and get the last few points for the week. And uh, I mean, only seven guys that don't have scholarships at this point. We're going to start getting a lot of commits. I think that we've got a good chance to pick up the full 25. And we'll quickly take a look, as always, at our ESPN, just to see what ranked games we have going on. We have uh, 1v3 in Iowa State and West Virginia. Uh, Michigan will play a number 20 Minnesota. Number four or number five Florida will play a number 15 Georgia. 
Uh, Arizona State plays USC. They are ranked 11 and 12. Texas plays TCU. Um, they've lost back to back, so they're really hoping to stabilize there. And I think that's pretty much it. And of course, we're looking for a win as well. We know that uh, Lee Corso is in our corner. We are the better team pretty much all around. Maybe, maybe we'll struggle on defense, but that's something that we always do. How are they looking on their schedule? They've got a win against Appalachian State, who's only 3-3. Three and three. They slaughtered their FCS team as they should. Lost to Syracuse, uh, kind of how you would expect. Not the closest game, but they still scored points. Lost, similar fashion, a little bit worse against a number 8 North Carolina, who's 5-1. and one. And then have lost against a 2-6 and six Georgia Southern uh, by 11. So they are on a 3-loss streak. They're looking to bounce back. We're looking to continue to win. Uh, I'm not sure how we're 6-1, and one, but we're there. So let's jump into this, get it done. Uh, 81 overall to there, 79 for us. We have the slight disadvantage, 1 overall on offense, and a 4 overall advantage on defense. We're on the road. Last time, we wore the black pants. This time, let's just change up the helmet. Let's go black helmet, teal pants, white jersey. And the Red Wolves will just wear their standard home uniforms. And we can start to load into this one. Offensively, they are middle of the road. Maybe a little bit better at passing. Um, defensively, not great. Good at stopping the pass. Bad at stopping the run. Hopefully, that plays into our hands. Uh, no injured players for either side. Their top players in that 89 overall range. So we are in the state of Arkansas at Centennial Bank Stadium. Not a lot of teal in the stands there. We go tails on the coin toss. Tails never fail, so we win, and we will elect to kick this one off. And as Biscardi gets this one underway, uh, I want to say go ahead and feel free to subscribe. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a touchback, but uh, I think that's what Biscardi would want. We'll come out on defense to start this game. And they're going to go with the draw early. Need to get some stops, but looks like this could be more of what we've been seeing. And obviously, of course, the team that we're playing is going to go into the hurry up. First and 10, just like that. They're going to hand it off out towards the edge again. And Matt misses the tackle. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, it actually looks like I'm throwing. Wow. 60 yards on the run. The hurry up continues. I I don't have a, any excuse for how bad the gameplay was there as it looks like we're going to see maybe a three play touchdown drive. We're bringing everything up the middle. We hit him before the line to gain. He doesn't pick it up, but still gets two yards. And I'm going to continue to expect uh, some runs up the middle. We know that it's going to go to Marie. Why would they go away from him? And there's the touchdown. Oh, what a disastrous start to this game. That's uh, a little bit disappointing. Maybe we can get it back a little bit. Diggs, I'm going to bring this out of the end zone with him. Maybe not the most returnable ball. And oh my gosh, we're starting from the 15. Well, that was atrocious. Bad user, bad tackling, uh, just bad everything. But maybe we can do okay on offense. Reese White picks up four yards on the first carry of the game. And uh, I think I'm going to have a problem trying to stay patient passing on the game. Oh, oh my gosh. No chance to get that one away as we're hit throwing the ball. That gives us a third and six to work with. And hopefully we can pick this one up. Looking for the timing route to Dion Fountain. There's five guys or four guys in the area, but he comes down with it. We get the first down. And we'll see if we can get the read option to work on this one. First and 10. McCall just keeping it up the middle. Man, if I didn't run into that guy, we had a lot more. Still five yards. And we will run it again here on this second and five. Let's just get north with Reese White. And we almost pick up the first down, but it is another third to worry about. Hopefully this works well. A run up the middle to Reese White. Man, the linebacker shot the gap. Just kind of guessed wrong where we were going. That one was very, very close to being stopped as we will uh, go with the play action on this first down. And I'm feeling a lot of pressure trying to run. We're patient. We find Javon. We get our three yards. 
So that's, I guess, something. Uh, trying to run it again. The counter just got to go straight up the middle there. There was nothing out towards the edge. And it is, again, another third down. Two of two on these so far today. Looks like they're going to bring some pressure. Question is, can we get the stop? Oh my gosh, the pressure comes immediately. Just got to get rid of this one, and we can't get it to Dion Fountain. I just didn't have time to set the feet, so fourth and four, but we're going to go for this. I've got no reason not to throw this up, and hey, look at there. There's, there's, there's the scramble. Couldn't get that out of my mouth, but 10 yards for Grayson McCall, and uh, we stay on the field. This drive is not going how I had anticipated it. Struggling, but still moving the ball. We'll hand this one off to Reese on the read option, and he continues to do pretty well so far. Unfortunately, pretty well is not going to cut it. Look into the air. They're playing their safeties really far forward. We're going to just lob this up, see if Javon Hiley can get to it. He's not able to. Another incompletion. Two of five for Grayson so far. Still in this four down territory. We'll run the ball on third and four. I'm going to switch the direction of this. I don't like the way that they're loaded on the line there. And Reese has the first down. On this first down, it's going to be a bubble screen to Tyson Mobley, who gets the nice catch and got good enough blocking for seven yards. Going to try another play action on second and three. Trying to send the pocket over the middle of the field. We have Bedgood. And he gets the catch for 16 yards and a first and goal. On first down here inside the tent, we're going to hand the ball off. See if the running works. The running does seem to work, and Reese picked up most of it. Six yards gained there. Only a couple to go for the touchdown here. Second and goal. The read option coming back out. Reese getting the handoff and falling forward into the end zone as he found a linebacker at the goal line. We're going to tie it up most of the way through the first quarter now. The defense needs to get a stop or at least not just be so bad. Biscardi booting this one away. I put it, hopefully, yeah, in a returnable spot. I feel like maybe I want to give our chance or our special teams a chance, and that was a great stop there inside the 25 now. Four wide receivers in the formation here for the Red Wolves, and Shelton got beat for six yards. But we're going to continue... With the man coverage, Gunter looking to force the third down. I just can't tackle today. Seems like a simple enough explanation to me, but I just uh, struggling. Trying to get the stops. This is going to be a play action. A quarterback all the time in the world has a man wide open. And they are across midfield here. Well, the man clearly not working. We're going to switch it up and try a little cover three on this first and ten. They're going to go with the slip screen. And I I switched my users. I didn't expect it to switch to spill them, so we missed. They got nine yards out of that. We'll try to bring the blitz on this second and one now. Definitely expecting the handoff to the running back. But no, they're going to go play action again. And wow, Reed Tyler held on to that one through the contact. Another first down. Oh, okay. A little false start from the offensive line. That'll give our defense a little bit of a chance to breathe. And now that it's first and 15, they're going to hand it off. Can we get there with Gunter? No, I just... What's my user? It's so terrible right now. They get seven yards. And thankfully, man, we get a little bit of a break. That's going to be the end of the first quarter. Seven all. Ah, but our defense has absolutely just made a Swiss cheese right now. Not a good looking first quarter. If you are our defense, I've kind of left my man wide open, the running back, but we get to him. He still picked up four yards. It forces the third and four, and maybe we have a chance to get the stop. I'm kind of expecting a pass here, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they put it on the ground. No, it's going to be a pass. Quarterback all the time in the world, and we get the sack. Oh, we hold him to a field goal attempt here. Jared Clark gets it the sack. First tackle of the game for him. The defense held well enough. This is a pretty long field goal. There's no guarantee that they're going to make it here on fourth and nine. Not going to try to get the return. Instead, we'll see. No, no chance to block it. And the kick is good. That was a, that was a pretty nice looking field goal attempt there from the kicker. 10-7 now. Red Wolves lead. See if we can answer back with a 
Touchdown on this drive. A terrible kick. Fielded well. Dropped at the four. And Diggs just... <laughs> oh my gosh. What is going on with Aaron Diggs right now? It feels like it's so frequent that he is, like, dropping those. We're going to start this drive at that nine. Should have just uh, allowed that ball to, you know, go into the end zone for a touchback. Thankfully, Deion Fountain on the jet sweep picks up 11 yards. Kind of out of trouble out at the 20. We're going to see if we can look to the air. I'm not seeing a whole lot. I'm going to try to scramble. And they've left a lot of room. McCall, easy yardage. He got shoved pretty late out of bounds there, but three carries for 32 yards now for him. I do not at all feel comfortable in the pocket right now with our uh, pass protection, so having to scramble a lot, and at least our running game working pretty well. Another seven yards there for Reese White. We're going to hand the ball off to him one more time here. On the counter. See what he can get. There's a lot of room out on the edge. The juke uh, doesn't quite work. Thought maybe you would have a chance. Still got eight yards, though. Now I want to throw up a deep one. We'll see. The coverage is good, but is it good enough? Oh, maybe late trying to find likely. Didn't put the ball in a good spot. Lucky that one wasn't intercepted. That puts us in this second and ten where we will hand the ball off and try to get a manageable third down. And Reese just bowling some guys over. We've already rushed for over 100 yards as a team, and that gives us another first down. That is great news. Another first down. We will step up to pass. Oh, my gosh. What am I doing? I thought that likely was going to go with an out route. He just kind of curled on me. And we threw the pick. Bad placement of the ball. Oh, no. Well, maybe trying to do a little bit too much on that one. Uh, we paid the price. First down. Now they go. I thought for sure that was a play action. They hand it off and pick up eight yards. And we got to start bringing more pressure because the uh, the pass coverage isn't doing well enough. They are running way too well. Uh, this is one of those games where we're just going to get obliterated, isn't it? Not a whole lot of an opportunity for us to be successful. This is going to be another draw play. And more missed tackles by me. More broken tackles by Marcel Murray. Yeah, this is embarrassing. Murray has nine carries for over 130 yards. This is atrocious. Quarterback throwing to the end zone. Spillum dropped the pick. We desperately needed that one. Now it's a second and ten. Need to get a stop. This is going to be a handoff. A counter. Mats forces Murray to cut it north, and he only got two. Third and eight. A chance to get off the field again. What can we do about this play on third and eight? They bring a man in motion. To me, that signals that there's not going to be a screen necessarily, but it is not going to be a first down fourth and in inches to Rashad Paul. They're going to go for it. We're bringing literally everybody. If they decide to go to the air, we're in trouble. We're just going to try to gap this. It's a pass, and oh, he threw off his back foot. Maybe a chance for that to be inaccurate, but finds the wide receiver, and they take a 10-point lead on us now midway through the second quarter. This is not good. We brought everything on that fourth down and paid the price. Uh, maybe now Diggs can actually feel the kick cleanly, and we can have a chance for our special teams to do something good. Whoa, that man just got a speed boost off the block. <laughs> it's a good return, but that could have been a whole lot better. This probably isn't a good idea to start this drive, but I'm looking to pass. Oh, please don't throw a pick, Goon. Please don't be stupid. X is kind of open. Let's just scramble. The scramble is the only thing that's working well for me when I step back to pass, so I guess we'll keep using it. One thing is certain, though. I am not happy with the way that the offense is playing. As Reese White tried to juke a guy out and only got two yards on the play. Our clock here is going to tick below two minutes and a half. I want this to be the final drive. I don't trust our defense to get the, a stop. Doesn't matter how much time we give them. I just don't trust it. So we're just going to continue to uh, burn this clock and hope that we can score as time basically expires. Our running game has been pretty solid. Apparently we didn't get out of bounds on that play, but we'll just keep putting this or keeping this ball on the ground and seeing if that works. The blocking from the wide receiver is not quite good enough. Second and three clock's going to continue to tick. 
But again, all three timeouts still. I'm really not all that worried about the clock just yet. Gonna hand it off one more time and... Well, the third and one, we will take our first timeout. We'll try to run it again. This is four down territory. I don't want to pass the ball in this situation and White doesn't have it. So fourth and one, we're gonna burn the clock down and then run it again. Well, in my haste to get back into the menus to call my play, uh, I've accidentally brought out the field goal team. So we are going to use a timeout here because I still want to stay on the field. But we might as well burn the clock down just in case we screw this play up. So we'll be taking a timeout here at one second. And with 33 seconds left in the half, we will go for this on fourth down. Calling the read option here. Just hoping for the best. Need this to go well. Maybe a McCall keeper. Grayson has the edge and I'm going to let him pull over a guy. 28 seconds. Time for the hurry up. Now we will let him pass. I'm looking for Isaiah Likely over the middle. Oh, this is a terrible throw. Didn't really mean to make that one. Thank goodness it was incomplete. That'll stop the clock for us. 4 of 10 now for McCall through the air. Going to the air again. They're bringing pressure off the corner. I saw it. We're outside. We have Javon Hiley. Oh my gosh. He got obliterated. I should have uh, just gone out of bounds, but now we got to go hurry up. And we do still have a timeout. This might be a mistake. Uh, yeah, we're going to audible this. I got to throw. Bed good. Get on that out route. Quick throw to the wide receiver. He's got it. And we score the touchdown. Oh, man. Javon Hiley on that pass play got obliterated. Thankfully, only a three-point game here with 12 seconds to go before the half. That was a risky throw, though. So 12 seconds and three timeouts now for Arkansas State. They're probably going to run it here. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, they're going to take a timeout and for sure try to go for points now. The question now is, is there anything that our defense can do? This looks like it's going to be a Hail Mary. Uh, we're going to take a timeout. I'm going to go into the prevent. The last thing that I need is a Hail Mary to score, you know, a touchdown down the half. So we'll drop back into coverage here. What is he doing? He's throwing this one. Matt should have had the pick. Strong stole it from him. But I mean, statistically, hey, that's great. We get some XP. Uh, it makes our guys look better. <laughs> Did Jordan Strong just yoint that uh, interception away from the guy who was standing under it for like five seconds? Look at how rude this is. <laughs> I love it. That's going to be the end of the half, though. Down three. We do get the ball. Defense needs to be better in the second half. That's the only takeaway. I guess maybe I should add on to that. Our special teams, Aaron Diggs. Needs to hold on to these. I'm not even going to try to make the mistake of bringing that one out. So we'll take the touchback to start the third quarter. And the running game has been working pretty well. So we're going to stick with it. Try to run away from the pressure out towards the edge. And yeah, that'll work. Four yards on the first carry of this third quarter. I'm going to just continue to uh, put the backpack on White's shoulders and allow him to continue to carry us towards victory. Another five yards on that one. It's up to 91 on the game. And they are almost certainly expecting this. Man, really doubling up on the center there, but it's going to be a handoff up the middle. Should have been up the middle. I tried to bounce to the outside. It didn't work. And fourth and inches. That was absolutely stupid of me not to just go north. Uh, but we're going to go for this little QB sneak for McCall on fourth and inches. We stay on the field. A risky spot to try that, but it works out for us. Ken trying to sucker these guys in by running a ton of runs. We'll go with the play action. And trying to find Dion Fountain. We get the completion and another first down for a quick 14 yards there. And they're going to look at that catch. Interesting. I thought that was uh, obvious that he caught it. Let's see. Full possession of the ball, foot down. If they overturn this, man, I'm going to be pretty confused. Yeah, that's how it should be. So we will go ahead and run the dive now as we have crossed midfield. Not settling for a field goal on this drive. I want the touchdown. Reese bouncing it out to the edge again. Also gets six yards. We'll see if maybe there's a chance to just throw the safe throw to Tyson Mobley. 
Uh, held on to it through the contact. I wanted to go deep. Decided not to. McCall now 8 of 14 passing. Still has that interception, though, as we will hand this one off to Reese. Trying to follow the blockers, and we get tackled from behind. The diving tackle saved that from becoming bigger than three yards. This has been an interesting game for sure. Oh, no. Isaiah Likely. I'm going to put him on the fade, get him to run away from that safety because... Well, it doesn't work as well. The other safety comes over to protect it. Javon Hiley stays on his feet after the catch and gets into the end zone. 33 yards on the reception. We're going to take a four-point lead. What a move that he just put on that guy. A little shake and bake. Gets his defender to miss the tackle. And he's able to find that, you know, front corner of the end zone for six. How about this game? A big update for us. Number three, West Virginia against number one, Iowa State. It's a seven-point game with the Cyclones leading uh, midway through the third quarter. So the defense has not been great so far in this one. This is going to be a pass. Quarterback's actually going to scramble. I'm looking for the strip if we can get it. We can't pull it out, and he gets 16 yards on the scramble. I don't know, maybe a little bit crazy to say that that's unacceptable. We cannot allow the quarterback to run for that much. They go for another counter, and we just see another ridiculous bout of broken tackles from Murray. And it gives them a second in inches as they continue their hurry up. We're going to bring a little bit of a blitz. Quarterback's looking for the scramble. We're there with Shelton to get the sack. It's a loss of three and maybe a chance to get off the field for the defense here. We're going to bring another big blitz here on third down. Hoping that we can get something. They just run it towards the edge. We had a man there. Another broken tackle. And Spillum has to dive to save the touchdown. Sometimes it really seems like no matter what we do, there's no chance for us to stop these runs. This is another one out towards the corner. Shelton has his tackle broken again. And Spillum's got to save another touchdown. It's kind of incredible how week in and week out we make these running backs look like the best in the world. This is going to be basically the same play. He cuts it back this time and picks up 10 more. I'm really tired of hearing this announcer talk about how Arkansas State's getting first down after first down. Stiff arm cheese gets them inside the two for a second and one. And I can almost guarantee you that this is going to be a run. Maybe a counter here. They've been really using those a lot. Uh, and the way that our team is playing, I expect this to be a touchdown. They're going to go to the air, actually. A little bit surprising, man, wide open in the back of the end zone. And it's going to be a three-point deficit. This offense is cooking us alive. So Diggs needs to give us something. It looks like it's going to be a returnable kick, and it is. So can we get some decent blocks from the special teams, guys? No, not enough. We just get barely past the 25. This one feels like it's going to come down to whichever team has the ball last. A minute and 43 left in the third quarter. We're likely to see the fourth quarter unless this drive is super short. And Reese doing a good job there. Continuing to rack up the yards. We'll go with the read option on this one. Grayson keeping it, needing some blocks, finding the blockers. And Grayson running down the field. Can he pick up another block? No, it's not going to be enough, but it's a first and goal as he goes 58 yards down the field. If that receiver just turns around, it's a touchdown. Great use of the blockers on that one. And uh, just couldn't quite win the foot race. We're going to call the AI specialty the slip screen on this one. White has some blockers. Does he have the speed to get into the end zone? I'll just go ahead and dive to make sure. Well, that was a quick drive. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we retake the lead. Four points now in our favor. A minute and one left in the third. All right. Defense has come back out onto the field trying to do something. These guys are going to step back to throw. Quarterback scrambling very early. He slides down to avoid the hit and picks up seven. Trying to bring the blitz on this second and three. It's, I thought it was going to be a draw. The quarterback's uh, going to break the sack. He just bounced off of the linebacker and picked up the first down. I feel like there's not a whole lot more that I could have done on that play. Frustrating as hell. First and 10. This is going to be a screen and another broken tackle. We literally have to have two defenders there to get a tackle. It's the only way. Thankfully, the blocking wasn't great on that one. We're able to get to a second and nine tight end. Motioning out. 
This is going to be a run, and look at, dude, the blocking is so incredible every time. It's another first down, 14 more yards. Sometimes I can't help but feel like uh, maybe the running is a little bit too overpowered on the teams that we're playing. Oh man, we finally get a tackle in the backfield though. And that's going to end the uh, third quarter. We're in the lead, but it doesn't look like that's going to be true for much longer. So maybe our fourth quarter drive, just we try to end it, take as much time as we can. We'll see. I'm just thinking, you know, if we can get a really long drive uh, and we're in field goal range as the clock is coming close to expiring, at the very least, we could tie it and take this to overtime. That's not what I would prefer, but it wouldn't be the end of the world as Murray just got popped at the line of scrimmage. Third and long now. Maybe a chance. We'll go with the cover three on this one. We know that they're going to look to pass it to the screen. Can we get there in time? Clark diving from behind slows him down. And we do get the stop. Fourth and six now. And they're going to go for it. On fourth and six. Game probably on the line for these guys. Why is to recognize that? I think they'll go to the air and they will. Question is, can we stop it? Quarterback scrambling. Bush, another tackle broken by the quarterback, and he gets the first down. I swear the game will not let us win this one. As this quarterback has just turned into one of the best uh, tackle breakers in the country. It's a first down. This is going to be a run towards the edge. The run blocking is great as always, and another broken tackle. This is becoming ridiculous. 13 more yards. This dude has like 300 already. I'm not sure what it is that we can do to even try to stop him now. Uh, as, yeah, look at the, the runs are just, it's non-stop. We'll try to bring the free safety mats into the blitz here. See if that helps us a little bit. This one, another run. He cuts it towards the edge. Shelton, a weird tackle, does finally get him down. And it's another third down for us. Unfortunately, I don't feel confident about this. I feel like they're going to hand it off, but... We're going to bring the corner blitz and hope for the best on this one. This is going to be a handoff. The corner blitz should work. And it does. Fourth and five. They supposedly lose three yards on that, which is fantastic. Will they go for this, though? Gosh dang it. The answer is yes, which makes sense. A field goal doesn't do them a whole lot with four minutes to go. So fourth and five, they go for it again here. And the turnover on downs oh my gosh i thought for sure he would break that tackle but the defense held and with a four point lead here 354 to go in the game we're gonna start to burn this clock all right i think our running game has been good enough to maybe pick up at least a couple first downs but i'd really rather not throw right now try to bring McFarlane in motion as we're going to hand another one off to White. 315 to go. We've got some blocks, but not enough. Only three yards. It's third and five. This might not seem like the wisest decision, but again, I'm playing like an AI today, so we're going to throw another slip screen, and oh, this could work very well. Reese picking up a block. He's gone. He's not going to have the speed to score, but He's going to be really far downfield to the 20, and he's across the 15 before finally being pushed out of bounds. That puts us in field goal range with two and a half minutes to play. Oh, man, the stands, the, the fans themselves have really quieted down now. So we're going to tick below two minutes on this play. Again, handing it off to Reese, who you would think would be getting a little bit tired at this point, but doing enough. Minute and 59, they take their first time out. Second and four, we will continue to lean on the running back who loses two yards, but at least he stayed in bounds and they take their second time out. And again, we're going risky. We're throwing a screen on third down, looking to pick something up, just at least staying in bounds. Isaiah likely gets the touchdown, though, finds the end zone. Our blocking from the wide receivers there was fantastic. And we extend the lead here to 11 with a minute and 51 left in the game. Excuse that voice crack. <laughs> oh, they came close to blocking it. Extra point is good. Defense just needs to slow them down more than anything. Even if they give up a touchdown, we should be okay. So long as the time comes off the clock. First and 10 now. Defense needs to hold. Expecting all passing on this drive. The question is, what can we do? Quarterback's hit as he's throwing. Avoids the sack narrowly. Coverage was pretty solid there. 
trips to the right on this second down we will just continue with our man coverage because it seems like it's been doing a decent job and bush gets the interception they continue to throw in his area in these clutch situations and that's going to be enough to end the game just uh the awareness to turn around and jump a route that i don't think was supposed to be coming to him uh it didn't really mean to hurdle but that's going to be game only one timeout and a minute and 42 left I mean, at the very least, we should be able to kick a field goal here and make it a two-score game, or a, a two-touchdown game, really. But, I mean, if Reese White just wants to pick up a quick first down, that's fine as well. They take their final timeout with a minute and 38 to go. On this first down, we'll hand it off to the man of the game, or as they would say in soccer, the man of the match again. Because I feel like at this point, there's no way he doesn't get it. 28 carries for 126 yards so far. And the massive 80-yard, or whatever it was, 70-yard reception on the screen on the last drive. It's been pretty solid. And we'll just be able to kneel this clock out as it's third and nine. Thank goodness we get away with that on third and nine. McCall in the victory formation, takes the knee. We get, again, that little bit of XP. We can see the clock hit triple zeros once again. Oh my gosh, we continue to hold on and win these ones. We're going to get bit on the butt someday. As, hey, we earned an achievement. <laughs> oh man, we, we really, really are going to struggle, I feel like, if we play a good team that can execute for four quarters. Grayson McCall is apparently our player of the game. 12 of 18 for couple hundred yards but he had the interception so i i'm giving the ball the game ball to reese white if it's me at the end of it though doing enough to get it done and uh, you know some big plays from our you know main players here and there including an interception from the defense to end it is so so massive for us uh we moved to what six and one are we bowl eligible or were we already regardless it's uh it's good to be able to go home with a win here. Oh, we survive again. Games around the country. The only ranked team playing there. Ohio State slaughters Rutgers 49-7. Game stats, though. We beat them on first downs. They ran for 262. We ran for 252. So neither team able to stop the run. Uh, the two turnovers might be the, the biggest factor, but how about the fact that we passed for 203? they could only pass for 82 so we did a decent job there and also killed them on time of possession shorten the amount of time they could get out on the field and really just turn that fourth quarter into nothing player of the game again Grayson McCall 12 of 18 for 203 yards and four touchdowns and eight carries for 113 more yards eh, okay I can see why the game would give it to him how about Derek Bush six tackles and an interception and, I, and he just continues to pick up those crucial interceptions uh, late in the game We'll advance the week here towards week 10 where we will go on the road for another game as we will go to Texas State and uh, we'll see. Maybe we pick up a recruit here in between weeks as, oh, hey, we've earned another trophy. <laughs> no commits, but thankfully nobody locking us out. Michael Fogel will be ready for his visit and we're in a bunch of recruiting battles. So we'll just continue to, uh, you know, do the business there. Try to get that done. See if we can pick up our guys. We move up one spot to 18th in the standings. And uh, we're going to save our look at ESPN to see what happened in last week's games for next episode. So that unfortunately means, as I'll give you guys the little preview here as we outro, uh, that this is going to be the end of this episode. I feel like maybe I'm beating it at horse by continuing to go back to this, but I feel like it's deserved for you guys so once again i'm gonna say thank you for all the support on these videos over a thousand subs that's ridiculous to me and it just means so much i have been working on getting uh my stream set up so that it can be used on youtube um i want it to work pretty seamlessly so i've got a few things to work on but we might start a new series that we do exclusively for youtube live streams so be on the lookout for that maybe in the coming weeks um but otherwise we'll continue to get these guys out i'm curious how good we can do and what bowl game that we can make it to seven and one now five and oh in conference we're looking pretty solid but again thanks for sticking through the video if you've made it this far 
please feel free to subscribe. Uh, it's again free to do. It helps me quite a bit. And at the end of the day, if you stop enjoying the content a month or a year or maybe a decade down the road, it's always free to unsubscribe as well. Um, and then feel free to like and follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. Also, follow us on Twitter and join our community Discord. Those links are in the description below. But that's going to do it for us today. Thanks again for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. We'll see you later. Adios.